So what is HbA1c? On a routine visit to your doctor, you may have undergone a test called HbA1c. It is also known as A1c, hemoglobin A1c, glycated hemoglobin or glycosylated hemoglobin. It is a blood test usually done at a lab and is one of the tests used for screening of diabetes. It is also used for monitoring blood sugar control in people with diabetes. I am going to talk briefly about how this test works and also discuss a common misconception that some people may have about this test. Let us discuss an example of what is the difference between hemoglobin A1c and a random or fasting blood sugar. You can think of HbA1c as your favorite sport team's points or winning percentage over the entire season, while a fasting or random blood sugar would be your team's performance in a single game. So how does this test work? Hemoglobin is a protein found in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout our body. We all have glucose circulating in the blood which sticks to hemoglobin and forms glycated hemoglobin. We can think of it as sugar molecules sticking to red blood cells. Since our red blood cells die and are recycled every three months, the measurement of glycated hemoglobin or the sticky red blood cells gives us an estimate of the amount of sugar that has been circulating in our blood for the past three months. Now, what does your HbA1c test result mean? Hemoglobin A1c values are usually reported as a percentage. This table shows you the average blood sugars corresponding to a particular HbA1c value. Also indicates that a hemoglobin A1c less than 6% is considered normal. Between 6 to 6.4% is considered borderline or pre-diabetes. 6.5% or greater is considered diabetes. Sometimes people get confused and think that their HbA1c value is exactly the same as their average blood sugar over the last three months. However, HbA1c or hemoglobin A1c value in percentage gives an estimate of the average blood sugar over the last three months. For example, an HbA1c value of 8% does not mean an average blood sugar over the past three months of 8 millimoles per liter. It corresponds to an average blood sugar of 10.2 millimoles per liter or 183 milligram per deciliter, which is commonly used in the US or other countries such as India. The other thing to note is that if you have diabetes, in most cases, your doctor would want to maintain your HbA1c levels less than or equal to 7% and if possible approximately 6.5 percent depending on your individual medical condition now why is hba1c or glycated hemoglobin important the first thing is that it is used for screening and diagnosis of diabetes the second thing is that it is used to monitor long-term blood sugar control in people who have either type 1 or type 2 diabetes the average blood sugar control over time helps estimate the risk of developing complications from diabetes. A 1% lower HbA1c value over time, example 7% versus 8%, can reduce the risk of death by 21%, heart attack by 14%, and kidney and heart complications as high as 37%. So coming back to your favorite sports team, the overall points or winning percentage in the season determines their chances of moving on to the next round or playoffs. In the same way, hemoglobin A1c values over time predict the risk of developing complications from diabetes over the long term. And that is why it is very important to keep monitoring this number to assess your overall diabetes control over time. To learn more, please visit mypracticaldiet.com. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends and family.